Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. As you can see, I'm at the farm today. It's been three weeks since I've given you any updates and so much has happened. There's so much to show you, so I'm so excited. I cannot wait to give you a tour of what the annex is looking like now. So let's go in and have a look because I'm freezing. It's still so cold here. So the gym doors are on as you guys saw in the last video. The actual window panes are in now, which is making the house airtight, which is really good. Apparently it's warmed up quite a bit in there. They still need to be painted in this Cotswold green color that we've done for all of our exterior windows and doors. Um, just these ones have been painted. The rest have been primed. <laughs> this whole thing will be painted as well. And so yeah, you can see everything's been primed. Another really exciting update is that the cladding has gone in the gym and it looks incredible. So we haven't been able to walk in and have a look at it yet um, because they put down screed or something on the floor. So today will be the first day that we get to have a look around the gym. So I cannot wait to show you that. Ah. I can't wait to see it. Oh wow, oh my gosh, it looks amazing. So I think I need to say it again. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> it looks so good. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it would. So this is old grain store boarding. So it used to be used to cloud a barn and it was reclaimed. Oh, they've even done inside the windows. That looks so good. It's not really showing up on camera, but you can see there. Wow, it, it looks perfect. I'm so happy with it. They've done an incredible job. Oh, this is a bit of a style of my so this section here hasn't been done yet. I'm not sure we're going to do the green store boarding. I think we're going to do the normal set width cladding, um, which will then get painted because I really wanted a section that would be lighter and brighter. So this section naturally is going to have less light. So I think it's going to really suit this area. And um, this area is going to be where we put all of our machines and cardio equipment. Whereas over here in the section, this is going to be the um, free weights. So nice and big area. Honestly, I'm blown away. They have done such an incredible job lining up the boards. Perfect. It looks like a barn. Exactly what I was going for. Once all these extra boards are removed, this view here will look so grand and we're going to be putting two big antique window pane mirrors here and another three over on this wall that will sit directly below the skylights so it will just feel like such a big open space i cannot wait and if i stand over in this corner this is how it looks from this view feels like a proper gym it's massive and the sun has decided to come out yay all right, let's go inside. Hey, it's looking like a house more and more every time we come in. <gasps> okay, so we've got the, I'm not sure if I showed you guys this before, but we have the new sink vanity unit put in. Oh yes, we have all of the radiators put in. I'm in love with the radiators. They're really traditional and I like, I love the brass fixtures. The toilet has gone in here. Everything's starting to come together. We still need to put the wall lights on the wall here and the mirror, of course. Oh, and I've just noticed that we've got the new iron mongery put on as well. So I love that. Oh, and we have the lights that have gone in. So these are the ones that I chose for the entryway. Just your typical traditional lantern style. I think they look so good. What do you guys think? And the wall color is really nice too. I'm really happy with that. Kitchen. Okay, so when I saw a picture of this light that was sent throughout the week, I was not a huge fan, but now seeing it in person, I think it does actually look really good. I'm not sure how it looks on camera, but it's going to be right over a dining table, so that's why it's sitting a little bit lower than you'd expect. Kitchen really does look good. Oh, and they filled in the gap here. Countertops are freshly oiled, so they're nice and shiny. I'm sure they'll dull off over time. We have the utility, so the um, electrical socket plates have gone in. We went with an antique brass, and I think they look incredible. Radiator. Oh yeah, the new paint has gone on the walls. So 
so we can decide which color that we want to go for. I wasn't happy with the original living room color, which was cooking apple green. You might be able to notice that there's uh, that's the cooking apple green here and then there's one two three new colors so yeah if we look at the kitchen here I was expecting the green to be a lot warmer which is why I went for a warm green but it's actually very teal it's it's like a minty bluish green um, so we're gonna need to pick a paint color that matches with that a little bit better so seeing these three samples I'm leaning more towards the top two now that one is very bluish gray so that would go best with the kitchen but I do really want the room to still feel green so let's go inside and have a look oh this room is great um, we also have the lights that have gone in except we didn't have chains that were long enough so those are gonna be replaced and the lights will sit a lot lower like down here we basically need to triple the chain length um, and they will have shades on them as well so they'll look really good so that one up there does look really blue to me but i think it's next to very green greens hmm, I'm, i am kind of leaning towards the top one because it will just it will go so much better i think with the kitchen so this is an extra piece of kitchen <laughs> so we'll use this as comparison so it actually goes best with the darkest color. Step back a little bit. Definitely leaning towards that top color though. Josh, are you there? Yeah. What do you think of the paint colors in that room? So that color is the most blue one and the lightest. Then that one's green, but it's a little bit more of a cooler green compared to the original. Then that one down there is the darkest, but it's the closest the kitchen color. Just the green, the one in the middle. The one in the middle. Let's stand back. I still think the middle one. Yeah. Okay, thank you. The middle one is my favorite, so maybe I will go with Josh's choice and, and do that one. Yay! Feels so good to have made that decision. Also, we've changed our mind for like the fifth time, not really, for like the second time on this fireplace. So we were going to originally plaster it all over and have it the same material and color as the walls, but we made a last minute choice to clad it with Cotswold stone. And I do think that's gonna look the best and I'm really happy we made that decision because it will help us bring the outdoors in, get to enjoy the feeling of the Cotswolds as soon as we move in rather than having to wait almost a year for phase two. So by the way, if you didn't know this, annex that I'm showing you right now is the apartment part of the barn that we're doing up so that we can live in while we do the main part of the barn. So we got this turned over as quickly as possible and so it made sense to only do this up to kind of like a minimal but still really nice standard. So yeah, the Cotswold stone was a little bit of a splurge but I think it's going to make this living room feel so much homier and so much more Cotswolds. I am having a bad hair day and a bad skin day today so Please be kind. Is that the bed? Yeah. Okay, so this is the bed for mine and Ben's bedroom. Oh, Ben's office. Oh, that's my new desk. I need to update you guys on the desk. The carpets have gone in. I haven't showed you guys that yet either. Wow, it's warm up here. So let's have a look. Wow. Oh my gosh, this room looks amazing. I'm so happy with the wallpaper. What do you guys think? I absolutely love it. It is exactly what I imagined it to be. Oh my gosh, and the bedside table looks so good. It's perfect. Oh really is so cool seeing everything come together oh, i've waited for this moment for so long the, and of course the radiator is on up here and just even the small details i'm so so happy that we went with the antique brass plug socket plates oh the wallpaper i love it they've done such an amazing job uh, folding it up into the window sills oh i think they're back with the part two of the bed Ben, the, the nightstand looks so good. Ben brought up the other bedside table. 
These are an antique find. They have been flipped, like so someone has painted them and then sanded around the edges to make them look a little bit distressed, but I really think they just, they go perfectly in this room, very cottagey. Her bed is from the Cotswolds Company. It's just a standard sort of linen-y looking fabric bed which will go really nicely in here as well. I'm very pleased with the carpets that we chose. They look beautiful, very natural sisal carpets. The wardrobe will go in this corner. So that is due to be built next week, I believe. And then my dressing table will go here. I ended up changing my dressing table. So I'm sending the one that I bought back, even though it was gorgeous. Once I saw the finished room, I just didn't think that it would fit in with this room and the bathroom. <gasps> I'm so excited to show you. <gasps> oh wow, so this is the first that I've seen it with the sinks in and the toilet in and the wallpaper on this back wall. Wow, oh, and the floor, <gasps> the radiator has gone into the towel rail. Oh, and the light. Oh wow, I am so happy. Paneling is gorgeous as well. And we went with the nickel electrical plates in this room to go with all of the chrome. And there's quite a lot of space in here. I was hoping that I could get in a little storage unit here and I definitely will be able to. The only thing that's changing is this toilet seat. So I got it in oak, not knowing that it came in walnut, which is the same, would be the same color as the top. So I did order one of those. So we'll get that changed and all of the wood will be a dark wood all matching and I'm thinking of getting a little set of drawers like a little unit to go in there for extra storage because I saw a pretty picture on Pinterest that made me want to do that and I'm so happy with the bathroom have you seen it yeah the taps look so good I can't wait for the wall lights to go on and the mirrors as well but of course the toilet seat is changing to the walnut so it will match those but it looks really good Big shower. Yeah. Yeah, the door will go across. Because of this, but it's fine. No, it's fine. I mean, you're very tall and you fit in there perfectly oh. fine. Under the, like if you stand directly into the shower. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh yeah, yeah. You've got tons of room. It's a huge shower. I am just so happy with this room. I'm pleased with all of my choices and it's it's just such a great size room. We're not gonna feel cramped in here at all. I can't wait to get the mirrors and the wall lights on to show you. But the wall lights are very similar to this chandelier so they'll basically be matching. And for the mirrors we got oval beveled edge mirrors on cabinets so like little medicine cabinet mirrors so those are gonna look great as well. And I think my only regret would be the wall tiles. So I was choosing between two and I hadn't seen them. And I did worry that these wall tiles that I chose would be a really cool white, like almost a blue. And as you can see, if you look in the corner, they are really bluish white. So that is the only regret that I have, but I mean, I've done pretty well considering I've made all of my decisions through looking at pictures online. So it could be a lot worse and it's still a beautiful shower and it will function just as we need it so it will be fine but yeah i mean preferably they would have been the warm white like the floor tiles and the sinks and the shower tray it's, it is irking me a tiny bit of how blue it is but how beautiful does that look the view from the bedroom into the bathroom <gasps> okay anyway let's have a look at everything else all of the switch plates look so good i think we've got these from low max by the way they were pricey, but again, I think it's a detail that's worth it and we can always reuse these in a different part of the house if we needed to. Okay, so Josh's room is complete. Oh, the radiator, wow. And his light is up. I went with spotlights for him so that he could orient them in one way or the other, depending on where he's put his furniture, just because it's such kind of like a long space. Let's have a look in his bathroom. Wow. Okay, so he's got the same vanity unit as the downstairs bathroom, which looks great. He's got his light up there. Oh, that looks so good. So, of course, he'll have the mirror here. 
He's got his little mini towel rail, toilet, and shower. And we're just waiting to get the shower doors put in because I think they need to be custom made because of the odd shape of the showers. This room feels so much more spacious than when it did previously. Wow, that's really nice. I totally forgot to show you this light. It's a little bit more of a ornamental lantern style. I think it really suits this area. All right, I'm gonna take you guys back downstairs to see the downstairs room, which is my study and Ben's office. I really need my roots done. <laughs> Come down the stairs. Oh, it's chillier down here for sure. Then on the left here is my office. They've even filled in the stair view that I used to have. Not too exciting of a room, but it's just really nice to see it all done, to see the switch plates on the walls and the carpets all in. The carpet looks great. I'm, I love my carpet choice. Radiator, then coming back into the hallway here. We have Ben's office. And there's my new desk. Oh, there's Ben's wardrobe. So this is gonna be Ben's office slash dressing room because we won't have enough room upstairs in our bedroom. That's his new wardrobe that's come in. And what are these? Those must be the hallway furniture. So my desk, I'm gonna see if I can get it undone. <laughs> it's so perfect. <gasps> Wow, it's stunning. <gasps> Guys, what do you think of this? I am speechless. I think it's gorgeous. So this is a Victorian mahogany desk. I got it antique from an antique dealer website. It's in such beautiful condition as well. Oh, I love the detail on it. So this is gonna be my computer desk. The drawers are smooth. And I have a little, oh, little extra drawers there. Look at the carved detailing as well. This is such a stunning piece. Okay, I'm gonna leave my desk for now and let's see what else we have going on. That was pretty much the last room that I wanted to show you guys, but we do have a bunch of furniture deliveries that are gonna be in phase two. How good do these lights look? I'm still admiring them. Okay, let's go over to phase two. Again, phase two is the main part of the barn and that's gonna be the second area that we do up and that's mine and Ben's living accommodation. So the only piece of furniture that I could update you on is this one here. So I think I have shown this to you in a previous video, but I'm reminding you, this is what I got for my office. So I'm having two desks. You just saw the smaller one, which will have my computer. And then this one is gonna be more like a workstation. So where I can do sewing, like any interior design projects, I have room to spread out on this one. This is quite big. It's meant to be a dining table. So I think it will go really nicely with the other desk. And I'll put this one up against the wall with the window. Window. That's how it looks and I'm just gonna wait to unpack it for when we actually move in And yeah, other than that, we just have a bunch of deliveries that are in boxes Obviously, I cannot really show you. This is our dining table You probably can't tell proportions, but I'm worried that it's a bit small So yeah, I don't know. I might have to order a different one 